Welcome to the Mattress 350 RTK tutorial video. This video will show you how to use your M350 for first flight. Open the carrying case. Insert the landing gear to the connector on the aircraft. Slide and rotate the gear lock clockwise to the locked position. Take out the aircraft from the carrying case. Unfold the frame arms. Rotate the frame arms to the locked position. Slide and rotate the arm lock clockwise to the locked position, and make sure that the frame arms are mounted firmly. Unfold the propellers. Install the gimbal and camera. Align the white dot on the gimbal with the red dot on the gimbal connector. Rotate the gimbal lock to the locked position. Remove the camera cap. Take out the batteries. Install the batteries. Rotate the battery release toggle by 90 degrees and make sure it clicks into place. Activating the remote controller. The remote controller is in hibernation mode before delivery. Before the use, connect the remote controller and battery station with the USB-C to USB-C cable and charge the remote controller to awaken it. Press and then press again and hold the power button for 3 seconds to power on the remote controller. Follow the on-screen prompts to activate the remote controller. Aircraft activation. Press the power button once, then press and hold the button again in 3 seconds to power on the remote controller and the aircraft, and enter the DJI Pilot 2 app. Then the activation page will pop up automatically on the app. Read related terms. Authorize the use of device information. Select a usage scenario for the device. Confirm the account activation information. Tap Activate. Tap Restart Now to complete the activation. First Flight. Run DJI Pilot 2 app and tap Enter Camera View. Complete the pre-flight checklist as prompted on the app. Remote Controller Unfold the antenna of the remote controller and adjust its position to ensure the aircraft is always in the optimal communication range. Take off and landing Maintain a safe distance of at least 5 meters from the aircraft, and operate the aircraft by facing its rear. Take Mode 2 as an example. Start the motors by pushing left and right control sticks to the inner or outer bottom corners. When the propellers are spinning, gently push the throttle stick to take off manually. The left control stick is used for adjusting the flight altitude and nose direction. The right stick controls the forward, backward, leftward, and rightward flights. On the video transmission screen, you can see the current flight distance, altitude, speed, and other parameters. Functional Description Tap the shutter slash record button to switch between photo taking and video recording modes. Tap the playback button to view and download photos or videos. Use the left and right dials of the remote controller to adjust the pitch and yaw angles of the gimbal. Tap L1, L2 to quickly switch among three cameras, infrared, wide angle, and zoom. Tap R1, R2 to zoom in and out the zoom camera. Double tap the target point to make the gimbal and camera quickly align with the target. Tap the laser ranging icon to enable the laser ranging function. Align the cross cursor with the measured target. At this time, RNG indicates the relative distance between the target and the aircraft, while ASL indicates the altitude of the target. In the infrared mode, use the spot meter function to tap and measure the temperature at any spot on the screen. Use the area measurement function to select the area of interest and move it freely. The highest and lowest temperatures of the area will be displayed on the screen. In addition, you can set the high temperature alarm function as needed. Tap the palette and isotherm icon. Adjust the palette based on scenario needs. 
The flight pause button can pause the aircraft in any flight condition, making it hover in the air. Press and hold the RTH button of the remote controller to start a smart RTH. Hot battery replacement. The battery hot replacement is available for the M350. Battery replacement can be done without powering off the aircraft, improving the replacement efficiency. Unlock the battery release toggle, remove the battery on one side, and replace with a backup battery. If the battery indicator lights up, it suggests that this battery is installed in place and the battery on the other side can be replaced. Power off and storage. Press the power button, then press again and hold to power off the aircraft. Rotate the battery release toggle by 90 degrees and remove the batteries. Press and hold the gimbal detachment button. Rotate the gimbal lock to the unlocked position and remove the gimbal and camera. Rotate the gimbal axis arm to align with DJI logo and rotate the lens to be perpendicular to the gimbal axis arm. Insert the gimbal camera to the case. Rotate the arm lock counterclockwise to the unlocked position. Slide the arm lock from the bottom of the connector. Fold the rear arms. Fold the front arms. Place the aircraft upside down and put it into the carrying case, and make sure that all parts are placed inside the slots. Rotate the gear lock counterclockwise to the unlocked position, and slide the gear lock from the bottom of the connector. Remove the landing gears and place them to the carrying case. Press the remote controller power button once, and then again and hold to power off the remote controller. Fold the antennas. Place the remote controller into the carrying case. Fold the propellers inward and parallel to the aircraft body to prevent potential damage to the propellers caused by pressure from the upper foam inserts of the case. Close and fasten the carrying case. Thank you for watching.